straight out to special guest joining me, friend of Travis Alexander in court today, Pam Larson. Pam, thank you for being with us. How do, how do you respond to what you heard in court today? I think she has an amazing way of twisting things so that we all, she wants everybody on her side, but you know, she took Travis's rights away from him to say, yes, that happened, or no, it didn't, or this is why it did or didn't. What, what do you make of her being on the stand? And when you first met Jody Arias, what was your impression of her? She had the most empty, deep, dark eyes than I've ever seen in my life on anybody. I mean, it was like, I just wanted to get away from her. You know, you have, you're familiar with where the defense is headed. They're claiming Travis Alexander had abused her for a very long time and that she reacted in self-defense. What do you make of that? Well, I, I don't believe it. For one thing, people do get mad at people. You get mad at your kids. You get mad at somebody that does something to you and you yell at them. That's normal. You know, but being abusive and, and attacking her and stuff, I, I don't buy it. I mean, why would you, if you were treated that way, why would you drive a thousand miles to get treated that way? That and, just and after make slashing sense. his tires and breaking into his bank account and his email, it sounds like she's the abusive one, not him. Uh, with me is Pam Larson, a friend of Travis Alexander's. The court watchers were asked to all shift sides of the courtroom today and told to sit behind Jody Arias' family. Why and what was that like? Well, I didn't sit on that side. Um, I'm close with Travis's family, and they asked me to sit in the run, front row with them, so that's where I sat. But I kept a good, pretty good eye on the jury today, which I haven't too much. I've been probably too much giving Jody the evil eye for the last however many days this has been. Um, but, uh, you know, they were writing a lot, and but some of them... I mean, I think they're just tired of it, and now they're just not wondering whether they can even believe what she says now.